cold. <laughs> 55 degrees maybe today. Had some frost this morning, 34. We have uh, a pretty cold weather forecast for this weekend. Saturday's high in the low 50s. Sunday, uh, upper 40s. We got low in the 34 degree range again. We have rain forecast for Saturday and Sunday. Makes for, makes for a pretty slow fishing. Don't want to be out in that kind of weather. Well, I still see canoes. They're, they're still going out. You have your permit and your vacation scheduled. You can't help but deal with the weather when you're in it. That's why you need the appropriate clothing to keep warm and dry. Good food to keep your uh, energy up. Good shelter to stay warm at night. You need good equipment. So make sure that uh, your equipment is in tip-top shape before you start out. Go through all your equipment, make sure there's no rips and tears and leaks, uh, holes. Go through it one last time before you make your, uh, make your trip up north to explore the great outdoors. Fishing has been okay once uh, we're out. Fish are in about 10, 15 feet of water during the day and the mornings are shallower, of course. Uh, it's been windy, kind of tough. In a boat, it's okay, but uh, canoeing, it uh, makes it pretty tough for those who are familiar with it. Fighting the wind and the wave and trying to fish at the same time. But when you're out in the BWCA camping, you only need one. You only need one fish for your meal. So it's not like you have to catch a dozen of them and take them home and put them in the freezer. You can't do that out there, so you only need one. So Get your rig set up, troll the shorelines or jig the points, you know, whatever uh, you're used to doing, whatever works best for you. And all you need is one to make a good meal, so don't let a uh, little bit of weather intimidate you, and I know it, it doesn't. For those who like being out here, weather is just part of the, the whole program, cold, hot wet, dry, either way it don't make any difference. But this weekend coming up, we're talking pretty cold and pretty wet yet. I don't know how that's going to affect the, uh, the overall walleye uh, fishing, and it, but it, it will start to taper off and the water is warming up. It's 50 degrees now, it was 46 last week. So it's warming up and as it warms up, they go deeper and to stay cool. So. For those walleye fishermen who you know what uh, the game is, another day, another beautiful day here in the Northland. Not too far from here, I heard it's about 80 degrees, but, but not here, it, it's cold. So campfires are welcome. No kind of burning ban that I've heard of yet. Uh, it's been pretty wet, so it's gonna be a while for burning ban. Kind of windy today out of the northwest. Kind of cold on the neck, so bundle up. Make sure you got the appropriate clothing up here. If you're coming from down south or you're in shorts, leave the shorts at home and bring the long johns. <laughs> We're still in that kind of weather up here. Gloves, stocking caps, turtlenecks, you know, the smart wool. It's still cold up here. Bring the appropriate clothing. So. Leave the shorts home if you're coming up this way, uh, this week or next week. Very prepared, still cold. So, hot cup of coffee or cocoa. Enjoy your day. We'll see you on the fly here. Have a good trip.